Hey, everybody. Welcome to story time. And this episode's bound to make us splash. Yeah. Ah! What? This week's The Little Mermaid. I know it's The Little Mermaid. That's why I'm holding this book. Nah. Why read the book when we can just watch the movie? Under the sea. <laughs> I'm actually glad you brought that up, Orange. Because the original fairy tale is way different from the Disney movie you probably know and love. That's okay, I guess. As long as there's a singing crab in the book. There isn't. Boo! I want a singing crab with a Jamaican accent. <laughs> Orange! Great. The book got swept away in a tidal wave. I guess now it's time to wave hello to my version, told from memory. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Once upon a time, there was a singing crab who lived... No, brother. <laughs> now, this crab had a beautiful singing voice. So beautiful that some mean old sea witch was super jealous of it. Um, I think it's the little mermaid who has a beautiful singing voice in this story, dude. Yo, what you talking about? Didn't you hear Sebastian sing in the movie? Ah, da, da, see? You can't tell me that crab didn't sound fab. <laughs> okay, but you are aware that the story is about a mermaid and not a crab, right? Oh, yeah, totally. We'll get to the mermaid in a second. Don't be so crabby. <laughs> Speaking of crabby, one day the crab went to the surface and saw a human walking around on legs. He said to himself, ooh, those legs look crab-tastic. I should get me some of those. Crabs have legs, Orange. This is exactly why the main character is supposed to be a mermaid. No, this is totally the way it goes. See, the crab went to the old sea witch and made a trade. He gave her a singing voice, and in return, she gave him additional legs to the legs he already had. Yeah. Orange! All of a sudden, this crab has legs coming out from all over the place. His back, his butt, don't even got legs coming out of his legs. Yeah. Oh, we're so far away from the original story, I don't even know where to begin. I agree. Getting this story back on the rails would be quite a feat. Yeah. Uh, look, are we going to check in with the Little Mermaid anytime or what? She's only the titular character. Great idea. Back to the Little Mermaid, who also paid a visit to the mean old sea witch. That's right. The Little Mermaid traded her singing voice for human legs. And let me tell you, she got him. The mean old sea witch did her a huge solid and gave her more legs than she even gave the crab. Yeah. What? Oh, uh, yeah. The Little Mermaid had legs coming out of the legs on her legs. She went up onto land and tried to hit on some prince, but he was repulsed by her. Not a legs man, as it turns out. Yeah. Uh. But don't worry. It has a happy ending. The Little Mermaid and the Crab formed a two-person soccer team. And with all those legs, they easily won the World Cup for Atlantis. And they lived happily ever after and had a bunch of leg babies. What? And the mean old sea witch, now in possession of two stellar singing voices, went on Atlantis Idol and got into the final eight before getting voted off in favor of some merboy with pink hair. Orange! Oh, and then a tidal wave swept over the entire world. The end. What? I thought you said it was a happy ending. Well, yeah. That is a happy ending. A tidal wave sweeping over the entire world is happy? Sure, because from that point on, the whole world was, ah, da, da, see, hey, ah, 